Hi guys, Rocky France here with MMA Minded. Today we're going to do another gi review. Um, today we're going to do a review on Origin Gi's. Uh, it's their Silverback model. Now, I've had this gi for nearly a month now. And I didn't do an initial review because I didn't want to come off uh, biased. This is a company that I really stand behind and I really believe in what they're doing. So I wanted to really test the product before I did a review. So um, let me give you a little background on what I know from Origin. Uh, they're a company out of Maine and the geese that they make, everything on the gi is made in America. The cotton's grown in America. The fabric is weaved in America. Um, Geese are sewn together in America. Um, some of their products they use, they put in a box, um, a little wooden box that's made just down the street from where their manufacturing plant is in America. Um, I just, I like what they're doing. They're, they're reinventing the jiu-jitsu gi, and I, I really like uh, the products they're putting out. So, um, <clears throat> the... The looms that they use to weave the fabric, uh, they're from an old manufacturing company uh, in Maine. They went and retrieved these old antique uh, looms and refurbished them to, to work for their purposes to weave some awesome fabrics for jiu-jitsu geese. So, like I said, uh, I'm just kind of biased towards this company as to what they're doing in the jiu-jitsu gi world. And uh, I wanted to test this gi out first before I... I did an actual review on the quality of the product and I'm glad I did because it completely held up to everything that I had hoped. Um, like I said, this is the, the silverback model. Um, the, the weave, it's a weave that they came up with. It's their uh, Gorilla Weave. And I'll try to, I mean, you're probably not gonna be able to see it very well in the camera, but it's just, it's amazing. Um, it feels like you have a pair of pajamas on. I used to be really against light geese. Uh, I always liked my heavy geese. I felt like I was putting on my battle armor until I got this gi. I don't know that I will ever purchase another gi. Um, I, I'm, I'm that sold. So that being said, this weave the best way I can describe it is when you sweat, it wicks the sweat from your skin much like a rash guard would do. Um, and it seems to transfer the wetness to the outside of the gi. So when you have it on, it doesn't feel wet. But if you were to grab the outside of it, it's, it's, it's almost like trying to grab silk. Um, the guys that I roll with complain about trying to hang on to it. They said it's, it's like trying to hang on to silk. So. I don't know if that's something they they planned or it just happened inadvertently. I don't know, but it's awesome. The lapel, it's nice and you know it's a good sturdy. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's about a perfect size lapel. Um, the way they cut these geese in the shoulder, in the shoulders, and in the back, they got this this V. And whatever it is, the way that it's cut, it just fits perfect. Um, the embroidery, it's nice, it's, it's good, tight, good tight stitching, well done. Uh, there's a nice little logo on the shoulder, another on this shoulder. Um, this particular gi is the black and it's got the gold. And uh, from what I understand, Brian Littlefield, one of the uh, salesmen's or sales reps for Origin had a little bit of play into that. Uh, I know he's a he's a Hiberio guy, and their colors are black and gold. So, from what I understand, he may have had a little bit into the color scheme on this one, but that's okay. I dig it. I'm, I'm really liking this gi. The skirt tails, you know, the slits in the side, they are uh, well stitched. I mean. The stitching on this thing is just, it's phenomenal. Everywhere they could think to add 
a little extra stitching. I forget what they call that type of stitch where it's back and forth, you know, they really reinforce it. They've, they've done it. They really did their homework on, on making a good gi. Um, the inside, there's a little patch. Origin, you know, Maine, USA. Just a good gi. I'm sold. I'm sold on everything they do. Um, the pants, the pants are something out of this world when it comes to jiu-jitsu world. Um, they are revolutionizing the market on jiu-jitsu, especially in the pants. So, you know, your typical jiu-jitsu pant, you got the strings, you got to cinch it up, you got all this baggy material, you know, here. Not origin. These pants are by far the best pants that I have ever put on in a jiu-jitsu gi. Um, this little closure, we'll get to that in a second. First, I want to talk about the, the Velcro fly, such as a pair of MMA pants would. The closure system or the tying system, it's this, I want to say nylon probably, a nylon loop that goes around the pants. The best thing, I think, is this closure system. So it's real thin, it's real narrow, but it's strong and durable. And you, you just, you know, when you got it on, you click it together. And now it's got this, this swivel feature. So when you're, you're in the pants and you're moving and, and whatever, um, it moves with you. you can, so you put them on, you just cinch this down, make them nice and tight. I, I'm digging it. I really, I really enjoy these pants. Um, again, stitching on the pants. Everywhere they could think to reinforce with more stitching, they've done it. The, uh, this is another thing, and I'll, I'll show you on the jacket as well. The seam tape, your typical seam tape, right? Let me see if I can get that. Your typical seam tape is, is like that thick. They've taken the seam tape another step. I mean, it's like two inches worth of seam tape, or at least an inch and a half. And it comes clear up. It's nice. And, and see, there's some more of the, just overstitched. It's phenomenal. And on the jacket, here's the jacket, the seam tape on the jacket. Again, same thing. I mean, you got two inches of seam tape there. And what I found is that when people go to get their, you know, their, your, your four finger grip or Spider-Man grip, I've heard it called, whatever, the grip for, you know, you're gonna play spider guard, it's a little bit harder to hang on to and roll back in your fingers. You got that extra thick seam tape, that extra thick material in there. So that's another thing that I found, another bonus feature Oh, on the jacket. It's got the gussets in the armpits. You know, that's pretty typical. Stitching everywhere. And the, the stitching's not, you know, it's not popped out. It's not come loose. I've had this gi for nearly a month. Um, I've worn it almost every day for a month, uh, literally. At least five times a week for a month. Um, some days I've worn it twice a day, depending on if I can get it washed and dried in time. Now what I do is... My geese, I wash warm water. I know they say wash cold water and hang dry. I don't do that. It's just not typical or um, it just doesn't work for me to do it that way. So I warm wash and I dry on low heat. And like I said, this ghee I've had for nearly a month. And as you can see, the color hasn't really even faded much at all for that many washes and dries with you know, warm water and, and, and throwing it in the dryer. I'm impressed. The, uh, the cut on the pants, I think they call this maybe cowboy cut. You can see this, this cut across the thigh. And what they claim, and it's true, is that when you get to move it and you move your legs, the pants will 
slide up your leg rather than, than restrict you and stretch on the pant. So it's just, just a well-made gi. That's all I can say. And that's not even bias anymore. That's just that's pure tested, mat tested. Mat tested, Rocky approved. Um, the knee pads, they go just down past the knee. Uh, now, your typical jiu-jitsu pant will have a gusset in the crotch. These don't have it. Um, and that's because the pants are made to fit. Uh, on the pants, I, I believe the way they say is uh, go up two sizes on your waist and down one size on your on the length of your inseam. And I may have that backwards. It may be go up one size on your waist and uh, down two sizes on your inseam, your typical inseam when you, when you shop for pants. And that's going to give you a good fit with these. Me personally, when I buy jeans, I always have to get a bigger size waist than I actually am because I got a little bit of junk in the trunk and I always have to get my jeans to fit so I can, you know, I'm not busting out my, the butt in my pants. So I did the same with these. And I'm about 215, 220, uh, about 5'8". And I got some thick thighs and a thick butt. And I went with, uh, I think these are 40s. Yep, 40 waist. So I'll try them on, you can see the fit. And we'll go from there. Just a comfortable pair of pants. Every time you put them on, they just they feel nice. And the jacket's the same. You put it on, it feels like you're putting on your pajamas. All right. So here we got the pants. Um, now they do send. A drawstring rope. If you don't like this particular type of closure, they send a drawstring rope. I don't use it. I love this closure. Just clips in, cinch it down. Now you can cut this off. I typically just tuck it, tuck it into the loops here and wrap it on around. Um, now I've heard questions about would this be IBJJF legal? Okay, and my experience is. They've never questioned, okay? If they do, you could always take this and tuck it, you know, behind one of the, the loops here, and it's not even seen. Or if you, if you have a question about it, just put the rope in that they give you, okay? Like I said, about 215, 220, 5'8". Uh, pants fit me fantastic. Uh, I feel like I can move. When you do bend, they, they slide up. They don't restrict you at all. The fit is just fantastic. The jacket. I went with the uh, large. They don't do your typical uh, A1, A2, A3. They do large. They do medium. You know that that kind of stuff. Large, extra large, whatever. I think they go way up to like even 4x or something. But. Uh, Fits fantastic. Now, I don't even know that this gi shrunk one bit, and that's washing in warm water and drying every single day. Maybe a half inch at the most. Um, it's, this is basically the same way it fit when I pulled it out of the box. It's just a really, I can't say it enough, and I know I keep saying it, it's just a really awesome gi. And it's not, it's not even biased. It's just I've worn it and I've tested it so much over the past month that I'm standing behind it. Um, sold Gorilla Gear or uh, Gorilla Weave uh, Silverback line in black. Uh, I just got ordered uh, the Axiom, which is the step up, and it's 
it actually has silver lined into the fabric, which is supposed to help, you know, be a little more antimicrobial and, and so on and so forth. So we'll check that out when that comes in. We'll get a gear review on it as well. But for now, the silver back. Well done, Origin. I'm digging what you guys do.